I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that he'd open all of heaven. And brother, it could happen any day. When God's people humble themselves, call on Jesus. And they look to heaven expecting as they pray. I just feel like something good is about to happen. And brother, this could be that very day. If you believe that, say amen. amen. We believe it. I've learned in all that happens just to praise him. Cause I know he's a work in all things for my good. Every tear I shed is worth all the investment. I know he'll see me through. He said he would. He has promised I know you can hardly fathom. The things he has in store for those who pray. Something good is just about to happen, and brother, this could be that happy day. I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that he'd open all of heaven. It could happen any day When God's people humble themselves And call on Jesus And they look to heaven Expecting as they pray Oh, I just feel like something good Is about to happen And brother, this could be that very day this could be that very day. Just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing along with us. Let's just live our hands for Him. Father, we do want to praise you because you are worthy to be praised. You've been so good to us, and we want to say thank you. And sometimes it seems like thank you just isn't enough. We want to say it in a special way. So we thank you for music because it gives us the way to sing our praise in a way that we can't do it otherwise. We thank you for this night and for this special occasion. We pray that you'll be in everything we say and do in a very special way. And when all is said and done, we'll be careful to give you the praise because we pray it in the name of Jesus. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. That's good. Speaking of praise, Gary, why don't you lead us? 
I have tasted freedom. I can go where he's leading, for shackles can hold me no more. I have learned of life's essence, and I stand in his presence, sing with my heart, he is Lord. There are days filled with sorrow and plans for tomorrow, but this is the time I must see. And I know there's a reason why in his own season God gives me a song I can sing. Oh, keep silent, ye mountains, ye fields and ye fountains, for this is the time I must sing. Oh, it's the time to sing praises to the rock of the ages, for this is If I've seen and I've done and I've gained and I've won all the good things that life ever brings, you know what? I've still tasted enough of life's miracle stuff that forever I just have to see. The stones must keep silent as long as I pray for the singing. His praise will keep ringing, and I. sing this, would you, everybody? We are persuaded that neither death nor life nor any power from below or on high things in the future or in days gone by can separate us from His love. We are persuaded that neither death nor life nor any power from below or on high things in the future or in days Separate us from His love. We are persuaded that neither death nor life nor any power, but be lower on high things in the future. Or in days gone by, can separate us from His love. Now listen to this: If God is for us, who can be against us?
ever singing somewhere, you let us know. We'll come out and hear you. Now, here's a new one we'll do. I think you could get this one right off. Right here we go. You know what? I'll sing it. Here we go. It's a sermon time. Here we go. If you think you can make it by going to church, you're just fooling yourself. If you think you can make it by doing good works, then you're just fooling yourself. If you think this thing, serving the Lord, or just singing in the choir, and sitting on the board, then you've got to find out what it's all about. Gotta be born again. Now sing it again. Oh, God's children. Oh, God's children. We're all God's children. To be God's children. To be God's children. You gotta. The last line again. To be God's children, you gotta be born again. One more time, just like on the record. To, to be, be God's children, you gotta be born again. We're gonna do a quartet number, just Gary and Steve and Lee and I. There's something about four part male harmony um, that is spiritual. Uh, <laughs> the first time I heard a Southern Gospel Quartet, I was in the sixth grade. I started milking cows in the sixth grade and, and uh, milked cows until I graduated from high school. Uh, not continuously, but <laughs> I took up lunch breaks and things, but on those cold old Indiana mornings, I would go down to the, to the barn and get the cows in, start milking. We had an old barn radio that would reach these big 50,000 watt southern stations. And I can remember WSM way back then and hearing the old John Daniel Quartet and Spear Family. And they always had those low bass singers and high tenors. You know, they'd give the world a smile each day. When, and when, when I first heard that, I thought I had done died and gone to heaven. And they had those piano players, always did that fancy piano. <laughs> that piano playing made that one old cow so nervous that she gave yogurt. <laughs> Frozen. And... Uh, <laughs> But I, but I loved it <clears throat> right from the beginning. In fact, Gary here is one of the original members of, of the Imperials Quartet. Uh, I used to, uh, I, I I used to listen to him on the radio when I was a little boy too. And uh, <laughs> my my my. <laughs> You can take the boy out of the quartet, but sometimes very difficult to get the quartet out of the boy. There, there's just something about the harmony. 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 Oh, that's pretty. 
That is just pretty. Well, anyway, here's the song. It's an old Stuart Hamlin song called Your First Day in Heaven. Well, it's a great, great morning, your first day in heaven When you stroll down the golden avenue There are mansions that can ride and you through Every side and the saints are always smiling Say, how do you do? Oh, it's a great, great morning, your first day in heaven When you realize your weary days are through You'll be glad you were not idle The time read the Bible It's a great morning for you I had a dream, and I'll confess I hate it too way. Grandpa was an angel at the great pearly gate. St. Peter said, why, hello there, where have you been? Friend, we got your mansion ready, so come right in. And then he rang for an angel to act as his guide. He spread his wings a time or two and learned how to fly. Well, it's a great, great morning, your first day in heaven when you stroll down the golden avenue. There are mansions left and right, and you're thrilled to every side, and the saints are always smiling, saying, How do you do? Oh, it's a great, great morning, your first day in heaven, when you realize your worries in the truth. Oh, you'll be glad you're not idle, the time to read the Bible, it's a great morning, a great morning. here today and it's gone tomorrow so hold tight to the sounds of the music of living happy songs from the laughter of children at play hold my hand as we run through the sweet fragrant meadows making memories what was today for we have this moment to hold in our hands and to touch as it slips through our fingers like sand yesterday's gone and tomorrow may never come this moment today you hear that tiny voice that's my little girl she's calling for mommy just to listen to what she has to say and my little son Running there down the hillside May never be quite like today For we have this moment To hold in our hands and to touch As it slips through our fingers Like sand Yesterday's gone and tomorrow may never come But we have this moment today Does love have a beginning that a meeting's measured by? Does it happen in a moment like white lightning from the sky? Can you tell me its dimensions just this wide and just this high? When did I start to love you? Tell me just how many dates it takes for love to really start. And just how many kisses will turn love into an art. When does the magic moment come to give away your heart? When did I start to love you? Was the day we talked of browning the beginning of it all? Or the time we walked the meadow and the fields of corn So tall that we felt like naughty children Hiding from their mother's call When did I start to love you? I remember just how timidly your first new song you shared And by the way you grinned I knew that you were glad you dared Although my evaluation wasn't worth much Still you cared When did I start to love you? Was it when I went to meet you in a gown of snowy white? Was it when we signed the license and drove off into the night? 
Was it when I gave myself to you and felt that it was right? When did I start to love you? When I feared you wouldn't love me if you knew how I'd been wrong and I spent a week in misery, but you'd known it all along. And you love me because you love me and not because I'm strong. Was it then I came to love you? Was it when we knew for certain about the baby on the way? Did it start the day you told me I looked pretty, shaped that way? Or did something special happen as we waited that last day? When did I start to love you? Did it happen when we held her in our arms for the first time? Was it later when I nursed her, this creation, yours and mine? And I knew compared to what we held, this world's not worth a dime. When did I start to love you? There were nights we stayed and prayed by babies' fevers burning hot when we really didn't know if they would make it through or not. Then we faced the dawn's beginning, thanking God for what we've got. When did I start to love you? Was it rushing to the clinic with a bone in Amy's throat? Was it night, nights you saw me shivering and wrapped me in your coat? Was it when I cleaned your bureau drawer and saw you'd saved my note? When did I start to love you? Was it when I saw you showing Benji how to be a man? How to sheathe his strength in meekness? How to gently take a stand? How that only strength of character can salvage this old land? When did I start to love you? When you held me close in silence and there were no words for grief. When that line of empty caskets gaped at all I called relief. When the amen was so final, I had you and dared to leave. Was it then I came to love you? What is the stuff love's made of that can cause the world to glow? Is it that you made the segments that I brought you well and whole? Was it when I came to recognize the poet in your soul that I began to love you? It's not of lace and chocolate that valentines are made. All such things are lovely, but disintegrate and fade. But love, when once it grows to be, is richer far than jade. I only know I love you. Tender words, gentle touch, and a good cup of coffee. And someone who loves me And wants me to stay Hold them near While they're here Ah, don't wait for tomorrow To look back And wish for today Take the blues Of the skies And the green of the forest, the golds and the browns Of the freshly mown hay And the pale shades of spring And the circus of autumn And my friend, just weave you a lovely today For we have this moment to hold in our hands and to touch as it slips through our fingers like sand yesterday's gone and tomorrow may never come but we have this moment today I am loved, 
I am loved. I can rest loving you. For the one who knows me best loves me more. I am loved. You are loved. Won't you please take? You're welcome to sing along. I am love. I am love. I can risk. I can risk loving you. For the one who knows me best loves me more. I am love. You are love. You are love. To love each we other. are free to love each other. We are love. I said, if you knew, you wouldn't want me. My scars are hidden by the face I wear. My scars go deeper. It was love for you that put them there. Now sing it again. I am love. I am love. I am love. I am love. I can risk loving you. I can risk loving you. For the one who knows me best. For the one who knows me best. Loves me more. I am love. I am love. You are love. You are love. Won't you please take Won't my hand? You please take my hand. We are free to love each other. We are free to love each other. We are love. Forgiven. I repeat. Your hand. Now everybody sing it again. I am I love. Am love. I am love. I can risk loving you. For the one who knows me best. For the one who knows me best. Loves me more. I am love. I am love. You are love. You are love. Loves me more. I am love. You are love. You are love. Won't you please take my hand? We are free to love each other. We are love. The last line, sing it again. We are free to love each other. Everybody sing. We are love. Amen. You believe that? I don't think I've introduced you to.
to Gary and Cloyd, have I? Gary Powell is a young man from college back home who's been playing the guitar for us. Cloyd is our bus driver who plays the bass for us. The other night I said he was our bass driver who played the bus. <laughs> and uh, Gloria here is my wife. She's the one in white. And uh, <laughs> the smart ones that already figured that out. And then Danny is my brother. Oh, my brother Dan. We've been together for all a long time now. It kind of worked out that way when we were born. And uh, <laughs> I remember when, we, when we, we were kids, we used to fight all the time back on the farm. And uh, until Glory said, until he got big enough to beat me up. <laughs> and then we quit the fighting. But anyway, he's a sweetheart, and we've stayed together down through the years. And he's a singer of our family, and we love to have Danny along. We got Gary, to be honest with you, because we needed kind of a youth look in the group. Gloria thought we needed a youth look in the group. And so we got Gary. And then she talked me in to this Peter Pan haircut. <laughs> Somebody said the other night, look more like Captain Kangaroo. I'm not <laughs> sure of it. But we've uh, even written kind of a youth song, and we don't do a lot of youth things, to be honest with you, because, well, it's, it's just hard to get old folks like Gloria and Danny to come along with us younger guys and do this kind of thing. But we got a new one on a new album that we're excited about. It talks about witnessing. And it goes like this. Get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Jesus Christ is King. I said, get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Oh, well, get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings, King of Kings. Get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Jesus Christ is King. I said, get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. Oh well, get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. The Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings, King of Kings. You talk about people, you talk about things that really. You talk about weather, you talk about problems we have here at a home and abroad. But friend, I'm excited about a solution for the world. I'm going to shout and sing, and it's Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings, King of Kings. Oh, get all excited, go tell everybody that Jesus Christ is King. I say to get all excited. what I want to do. I want to do that one more time, and I want you folks to help us on it. Now, on the first part on the verse, I don't want you to get your hands together at all. But when we get to the chorus, let's all do it. Some of you were doing on the, on the downbeat, some of you were doing it on the upbeat, and some of you were somewhere in the cracks, I think, really. <laughs> but if we're going to do it, let's do it all together. Now, don't do it on the first verse. Uh, get your hands together, clap or do something, look up here and smile. But it, even if you're going to be miserable, do that well, okay? <laughs> but do that verse again, then. You talk about people, you talk about things that really aren't important at all. You talk about weather, you talk about problems we have here at a home and abroad. But friend, I'm excited about a solution for the world. I'm not going to shout and sing, and it's Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings. Everybody help us. Yeah. 
to introduce this next song. I think um, maybe some of you folks have heard her tell this little thing before, but I think it's worth repeating. And besides, honey, I love to hear you talk. She just said, that's not what you said this morning. <laughs> She's a sweetheart, and I really mean that. She'd have to be to live with me. Amen. <laughs> you, the glory just said he doesn't say much, but what he says makes sense. <laughs> Tell them about that. We have a little girl named Suzanne. She may have been here last time we were here. She was one of those kids that never was afraid of anything in her whole life. She just didn't really have good sense, I guess, when she was born, and she didn't understand that there are some things in this world that you had to be afraid of, and normal kids know that right away, but she had to be taught, and we're still working on it. I remember one time when she was playing out in the yard she was about two and a half she brought in a well she said it was her friend she wanted me to meet and she held out her little hand and in it was the strangest looking worm I had ever seen in my life I thought I knew a lot about insects but this one was a new one to me it was about this long and about this big around and except for the stripes it had on it, it looked pretty much like a night crawler. So I asked her where she got the thing, and she said she found it out in the garden, and they'd been sliding down the slide and swinging in the swing, and she said she'd buried it a few times in the sandbox, and they'd just been having every bit of fun. So I began to look at her little hands, and they were just covered with little short, black, bristly hairs. And that's when it first dawned on me that what she had had once been a woolly worm, but the Wooly was all gone. <laughs> and I, I don't know if you've ever seen a naked woolly worm or not, but there. <laughs> Did you know that the skin underneath is striped like the fuzz? And you know, when the fuzz is gone, it's really, they're weird. It's all they're just. Okay. I can't wait to see one, honey. <laughs> yeah. I remember another time we live up on a hill and we have a creek down in front of our house. And she chased a snake down the hill, and she won. And she brought him in. Fortunately, it wasn't a water moccasin or anything dangerous. It was just a harmless garter snake, but I suppose he'd been all the same if it had been. Her grandma took her to Stephen Foster's old Kentucky home. I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but in the center of the main building, there is a spiral staircase that goes up two, three, four stories right in the middle of the building. And when her grandmother brought her in the back door to bring her home, she was still shaking because she said she had caught Suzanne by the skirt tail just as she was about to leap off of the top, of the very top of the spiral staircase down through the middle, thoroughly convinced with that much of a head start she could fly by the time she got to the bottom. So we thought we were really fortunate when we got her to the ripe old age of four and took her to a church in Wichita, Kansas one night to sing and uh, this church had built a new sanctuary and had put marble staircases going up into the sanctuary and each one had a round banister freestanding banister and she thought that'd be a good place to turn somersaults like she does on the top of her swing set and I mean the top of her swing set she doesn't have monkey bars so she unhooks the swings at the top and uh, uses that so anyway, she tried that on those banisters, and she didn't count the cost. And when she came over, she whopped her head right at the base of her skull on one of those marble steps. And a great big old knot welled up there, half big enough to put her hat on. And I stewed and fretted and worried and put ice packs on the bump and tried to tell her that she could have brain damage for doing such a silly thing. And finally, we kept her up till midnight. I was afraid to put her to sleep. I was so sure she had a brain concussion. But finally, at midnight, she didn't act any more abnormal than normal. <laughs> so I put her to bed in the motel. And uh, she went to sleep. And the next morning, she got up and began jumping up and down in the middle of her bed and kind of looked over at me and grinned. And she said, well, Mom, 
your kid survived. (laughs) And then in one of those tender, precious moments I know every mother treasures, she snuggled up real close to me and she said, I know why. I heard you praying for me. And so often I've thought about the bigger dangers, the things that come later on, things more important than woolly worms and staircases, foolish miscalculations and too quick decisions that can ruin an adolescent life. And so often I've thought about the times when my own parents probably spent the night on their knees while I was gone. And when I see the kind of world that little Benji is going to grow up in, I sometimes wonder how we can ever see our children to any kind of spiritual maturity without having them permanently maimed by evil. But Jesus said, I have prayed for thee. And if he cared about his children... I think he cares about ours too. And I claim that promise every day I live for our little ones. There isn't a day that goes by when they turn their innocent little faces up at me and wait for my answers to their questions. Questions that already are getting bigger and more profound. That I don't say, oh God, make me big enough to be the one to give them the answers and make those answers count. I've been talking about an empty tomb and if it were not for that empty tomb and a risen Lord I don't think I'd have the courage to bring a little child into this world much less look them in the face. But this thing of serving Jesus Betting everything you have and are on a way beyond proof really works. And it gives me the courage to look those little babies in the face and say, because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, then life is worth the living just because he lives. How sweet the Our newborn baby And feel the pride And joy that he gives But greater still face uncertain days because he lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he I can do 
about the second time we've sung it and so uh, we're going to try it out on you folks here tonight if you like it you just act real excited like it's the greatest new song that we've ever written if you don't like it go and act excited anyway we'll never know the difference you see but uh, have a little sing-along song we'll sing it through one time after we sing it then we want you to sing it with us Gary Paxson our friend in Nashville and Gloria and I wrote this together and uh, it's a little different song than we normally sing it's kind of a it's, it's, it's a little bit of a what you call a groovy song. Now, the Gaither Trio's never claimed to be groovy. Nope. Um, or I'm kind of groovy, but uh, <laughs> but Gloria and Danny drag their feet. And, and uh, <laughs> it's hard for the world to understand, you know, losing to win and and pardoning and and forgiving and all of those things that bring eternal life. Jesus, when he brought his value system along, he just upset all kind of systems up up until this time they don't understand the joy that the Lord can give that the world just cannot take away and we try to express it in the, in this song and let me play a couple lines you guys for you you get in to see if you can keep up with the with the groovy old man uh, on this again <laughs> is that right Get 
know my Jesus put it there to stay. And since the world didn't give it to me, the world can't take it away. The world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. The world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. smile on my face, it wasn't always there, the troubles used to get me down, hassles and problems from every direction used to make me wear a frown, run, run, run. in the midst of the storm I have a deep contentment that keeps me safe both night and day, and see the world didn't give in to me. The world didn't give it to me The world can't take it away Oh, this stepping round light in my feet that you see It wasn't always lively and light But when Jesus picked me up and started melodies ringing They always come out happy and bright, 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 bright All I have to do is keep on looking at Him Follow, trust, and then obey And since the world didn't give it to me The world can't take it away The world didn't give it to me The world can't take it away The world didn't give it to me The world can't take it away just in case you liked it. <laughs> you know what? When I was a kid, they always told me, Bill, go make sure you go get that education because they can't take that away from you. And I always wondered as a kid, who wanted it? <laughs> but all, oh, I tell you what, the joy that Jesus can put in the heart, even in the midst of problems and struggles and frustrations, is something to be excited about, isn't it? Danny sang that, do you know, you know the last verse? Uh, let me tell you about the treasures and possessions I come into when I put him on the throne of my life. A conscience that's clear and a family that loves me, an antidote for heartache and strife. The world always says that you can't take it with you, but my riches transfer okay. And since the world didn't give it to me, the world can't.
the shackle from the onset of time for the chains of defeat there's no key see the tears of the broken the cries of the slaves Is there no one worthy to set us free Then the crying is stilled As the chorus rings out The shackled release from their chains and thousands of voices are swelling the song worthy the lamb that was slain. I 
Say 